Welcome to Bears in Excel. Today is Friday, April the 5th, and this is a quick hit on the metals, looking at SLV, GLD, and GDX. Starting off with SLV. So here we are. We uh, have done silver the last couple of nights in the index's quick hit, uh, saying that it looked pretty darn interesting, and we were looking for some kind of a sign that it was time for it to turn. And uh, last night being this very interesting, um, but not perfect, spinning top that got back inside the lower Bollinger Band. Um, today we had a nice move up. We got back inside the uh, descending trend line. Good sign for the bulls. And ended with an uptick. Fantastic. Uptick gives us a target just above $27, which would be a proper gap fill of this right here. Excellent. That makes complete sense. In addition to that, we have positive divergence, MACD histogram. We have the RSI, the CCI, and the stochastics turning up. Fortune RSI moving average going sideways. Indicator-wise, this looks pretty darn good. It's coming out of a bottoming area in the heat map. Excellent. So you can look at this and say, oh, we have an uptick. We are going to 27. Yes. Are we going to 27 in a straight shot? I don't believe so. So this isn't uh, like the dream, the dream long in the immediate time frame. And why would I say that? Here we are in the 60 minute time frame. You can see the nice movement up today. And where did it run into problems? The long term moving average bar. Great separation, massively strong. It is, it makes entire sense that this is where it would stop at least for the moment. Beyond that, stochastics massively high. CCI massively high, RSI decently high, MACD histogram starting to level off, the MACD itself pointing up, the 14 day RSI moving average pointing up. This needs a secondary reset before it can finish out its move to the upside. And, um, and that's okay. We just need to wait for the stochastic to come down, meet or cross the 14 day RSI moving average and turn. At that point, it should finish off its move to that first gap fill. We do have two of them. I don't know if this one will fill. I don't know. Not enough information, but it is massively likely that this one will be filled after a pause or decline from where it is at the moment. GLD. This is a problem. This is a definite problem for silver anyway. We have the nice movement up, just like on SLV today. We have an uptick. The uptick gives us a target of, what, 153? All right, 153.4 be a proper target. Notice, however, an uptick target does not fill this gap. It fills a double gap here. It fills a partial double gap here. It does not fill the most recent gap. And that is a problem. Um, I would like for it to be filled. I don't know that it will. A fill would take it up to the long-term moving average bar, which would be entirely possible and the major price consensus level for the new month. But um, it would be so much better if it matched up with silver and aligned here, which it does not. We do have nice arrangement on everything for a move up to the uh, uptick target. We have nice arrangement for going all the way up to the long term moving average bar, but it just isn't quite as nice as silver. And if we look at the 60 minute time frame, 
You'll notice that this is different than silver as well. It has penetrated into the long-term moving average bar and got to the very end of it before running into some problems. We have a topping area in the heat map in the 60 minute time frame. We have uh, very extended indicators in the 60 minute time frame just like silver, CCI, stochastics, the RSI which is actually worse, uh, a bigger uh, move up in the MACD histogram. This is ripe for a pullback at this time. And um, and that bubble corrective move only takes us to about here. No, nope. takes us to about here, which is not much, uh, you know, to look up to. So problem for silver, and gold just doesn't look quite as good. And GDX miners, and we should have something that emulates gold and silver and we do not. Gold and silver were green and the miners were red and we don't have an uptick. Beyond that we can see that our indicators are not nearly as healthy. MACD pointing down, MACD histogram pointing down, RSI pointing down. We've already had a semi-decent move on the CCI. The uh, stochastics are not convinced, although the 14-day RSI moving average is barely ticking up. Maybe the 60-minute will give us some hope, but this should move with the metals for uh, for the move to be completely believable. 60-minute time frame, it went up, it hit the long-term moving average bar, it fell apart. These stochastics are in disagreement with one another. The MACD histogram is sloping down, the MACD is going up, the CCI is going down, the 14-day RSI moving average is going up. This is a giant mess. And uh, that is a problem. Uh, when we were tracking that decline on silver, what, less than a month ago? It was miners that showed us the way down. And what are they showing us right here at this moment? Um, something that isn't that isn't perfect it's not the end of the world but it certainly is far from perfect so some skepticism although of the three silver easily looks the best and that's metals for tonight as always all investing decisions are your own this chart and video for entertainment educational and consumption of time purposes only thank you